Hello friends, I am Dr. Vivek and uh, today I am going to talk about a very important topic that is uh, power of positive thinking. But before I start this topic, very important topic of our life that can bring uh, altogether change in our life. Uh, it can, uh, a transformative change can come in your life. Uh, before I start this topic, I want to tell you a story. A story about uh, two uh, patients who were hospitalized and uh, their situa situation was very critical. They were in a bad situation. And uh, when they were lying uh, uh, in the ICU, they, earlier they did not know each other and they were lying. Uh, they started talking each other and uh, they were having a conversation. And uh, at it, uh, when because they were alone in the ICU or in the room, uh, they started talking. And it, uh, it for for hours they used to talk about. And uh, it, the one patient was lying just uh, beneath the uh, just beneath the uh, window, and the other patient was uh, uh, lying, uh, which does not have. Uh, is, does not have uh, the window beside the bed. So uh, the, the first patient was uh, used to tell uh, the scenic beauty uh, of, uh, which she can see from outside the window. And beautiful scenery was there, and beautiful gardens, uh, the water flowing uh, in the garden, the beautiful flowers. And uh, uh, there was beautiful scenery there. Can he can he was he used to tell the outside the window. And uh, the other patient was very fascinated by this uh, listening to the suspicions. Uh, he felt very energetic. Uh, he felt very pleasant. Uh, he used to feel very pleasant that time when he used to listen. So after a few days, uh, mm, uh, the first patient was died. And uh, when the seat uh, it became vacant, uh, vacant, uh, this this bed was vac uh, vacant. Uh, nobody was there because the patient died. Now uh, the second patient has a desire to to see the scenery, and that for that he has to go to that uh, bed which was vacant now. And he requested the nurse to please shift him from that uh, to shift uh, to that bed so that he can see the scenery. And has allowed him to see the scenery, uh, to see uh, shift him to the bed. He himself first uh, got transferred to that bed, and uh, when when he was trying to see the scenery, he was surprised to know that uh, the glass uh, which uh, the window has, uh, it was opaque. You cannot see outside that window. He was very surprised. Now he talked to the nurse. And uh, the nurse replied him that uh, uh, it was just to give you motivation, to give you uh, a beauty, to put, uh, to bring beauty to your life. That was his purpose, to motivate you. Perhaps it was your, it was his, uh, his, his uh, inclination that uh, his inclination was to give you motivation, to give you energy in your life, which you you uh, you don't have. So, so uh, actually, the patient was was blind. He was more surprised to get this that patient was totally blind. Now, what you derive from the story? What do you think about the story? What you derive? What your derivation? One of the derivations uh, of this story can be that uh, one ke one can feel pleasant. Uh, uh, you can uh, you can feel pleasure. Uh, you can feel happiness in making others happy or making others motivated, making others uh, give uh, a good thing to his life, to others' life, uh, whatever situation you are in. So this is one of the derivations. Uh, which we can derive, which we can get out of this story. Now, the power of positive thinking, uh, I will talk you about on behalf of other writers, very great writers, what they think and how they change their life, uh, brought a change, beautiful change in their life. The first example, second quote is, uh, uh, 
uh, very important writer that is uh, Henry Ford. Henry Ford says, if you think you can do or you cannot, both ways you are right. So thinking is important here. What do you think if you are thinking that you can do it or you cannot do it, both ways you are right. So it's, it's a beautiful quote. I am always fascinated by this quote. Uh, it um, brings me uh, uh, a positivity in my life. The second quote is I want to have a quote from Gautam Buddha. It says, what do you think, so you become. So what do you think, so you become. It's a beautiful quote. Now the Swami Vivekananda, what the Swami Vivekananda says, uh, he explains uh, atheist. Who is atheist? According to Swami Vivekanan, atheist is a person who does not believe in self. So if the person is not believing in the, in the self, then he is atheist. So it's a beautiful quote. And uh, now Napoleon, Napoleon Hill, very, self, very important American self-help uh, uh, writer and who has written a very important book, very motivating book that is called Think and Grow Rich. What he says, uh, if a mind can think or can perceive, it can achieve. So if the mind can see and think and perceive, it can achieve. So you, your mind should should have that motivation that you can see, you can imagine uh, that thing and you can definitely going to get that thing. So very important, very motivating quote it is uh, that always gave me motivation. So it is, uh, if you are firing uh, firing on all cylinders, uh, it give you uh, it will give you give you everything in your life. So it's your alienness towards the positive thinking that can bring a beautiful change in your life. So dear friends, keep think uh, keep thinking positively and keep getting uh, good results in your life. Thank you so much.